So Canada, Jenny Crane. Good morning, my lord. My name is Alan Shore, and Mr. Crane and I are attorneys from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. We seek permission to be heard on this issue as friends of the court. Mr. Shore, we don't wear wigs in Canada. Oh. Nor do we wear waiters. Uh, my lord, we've just spent the last two days in your rivers, in your countryside. It is the most spectacular nature I have ever seen. And the fish, they are enough to make one believe in a higher power. Yes, how many of the higher power's creations did you torture? Fifteen. Denny didn't catch any. I get your implication, Judge, and I acknowledge the hypocrisy of the fisherman pleading for the survival of a species only so that he'll be able to continue dragging them to shore by the lip in perpetuity. But causing a fish discomfiture and causing it to become extinct are two very different things. And when talking about the Pacific salmon, this is a species that goes back to the Ice Age, one that is born on a river, migrates up to 2,000 miles in the sea, then returns to the very place of birth to spawn against enormous, miraculous odds, bringing nutrients on its journey to sustain the bald eagles, the grizzly bears, the wolves, even the rainforests themselves. An entire coastal ecosystem depends on them. If Charlotte the spider were still alive today, she'd be writing in her web some fish. Yes, well, forgive me, but I find it insulting to be lectured by an American on the environment. Watch it, Judge, we're a superpower. It'll make us add you to the axis. Being from the United States, I have an expertise on the issue. Do you? Yes. Remember, we're the country that's practically wiped the grizzly bear off our maps. We got rid of bull trout. To see a Florida panther, you have to go to a hockey game. We seek to count hatchery salmon as wild, so the numbers go up and we can take the actual wild salmon off the endangered species list. Almost 100 different bird and animal species have gone extinct in the last 30 years. While our national policy remains, it's not a priority. I know all about economic interests trumping the environment. And truthfully, if we were talking about the Virgin Island screech owl or the Fresno kangaroo, I might not care, but this is the Pacific salmon. The sea lice are killing them. Once they're gone, Judge, my God, they're gone. Oh, yes, mindful that abroad people tend to expect shock and awe when Yankees arrive on the scene. We shall leave you with two small but lasting words. Denny Crane, eh? 